Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video and as the um, title of the video says, this is going to be one cosmic shape. That's right folks, we're going into space. Or at least, we will in spirit. Anyways, um, pretty much all but the aftershave and witch hazel is going to be uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Products. And of course the blade is not going to be a PAA blade. But the razor is going to be the V1 Starling with the green V2 open comb plate. Now in my unboxing video, Jill kind of shared with me, of She Shaves with Jill, that she had a little bit of a run-in with this, with the, with this razor. Um, it bit her pretty good, from what I understand, and that's because these corner tabs are not uh, covered like they are on the um, vintage Jims and Ever Ready. So if you get this razor, if you are unfamiliar with it, you got to be careful of that. Um, but it gives, for me, I find it a good shaver. Um, but you do have to be careful of those corners. Um, the blade is a Jim stainless PTFE blade. Um, you can pick those up like five bucks for ten. The brush is going to be the Phoenix Artist in the Kutcher Months. Boom! Atomic Rocket 26 millimeter suave knot. Um, that StarCraft brush was just such a wonderful performer. I'm hoping this does as well. I've seen people with some really good, really good feedback on it. Hopefully I have as good of experience with it as others. The soap is in my um, lather bowl and it's the remainder of a red planet sample. So we're going to Mars guys. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, cut away here, and I'm going to go ahead and lather up the soap and to save time see you in a minute all right i lathered that up it that atomic rocket swat with the swap knot just lathered up that red planet really really quick i'm kind of impressed anyways i'm gonna wet the face and we'll get started Yeah, it's 26 millimeter swab knot. I'm just making quick work of putting the soap on the face. Yep, I like it. Anyways, so, I know some of you guys, Trevor, um, Dennis, a couple of the other guys, you aren't on Facebook anymore. Anyways, um, oh yeah, open comb's nice. Anyways, um, John Connolly of Uncle John Soaps. His daughter is going through some kind of a rough time. Little girl's eight years old and um, she's having problem issues with her heart. Um, kind of ironic that the last artisan that. that had severe medical problems, which was Russell Barton at the uh, Wild West shaving. That took it down quick. Just happened to be having heart issues himself. Anyways, once again, Aaron Fujarit of Frugal Shave is stepping up. And has organized a raffle, which will be going through to the 30th. 
right now. So um, nobody gets confused. That's the 30th of April 2019. It is right now at this time the day after Easter of 2019. And I will be posting um, his, uh, the name of his business or what his PayPal account is, or what his Gmail is, it's frugalshave at gmail.com. And um, I'll tell you about it in the next pass. Anyhow, um, so winner take all situation again, as far as the raffle goes. You can't say, oh, I want to, I want in on that, because there has been a lot of artisans that has donated. Uh, last time I checked, look, Phoenix Shaving had donated multiple stuff, including his Moonscape soap and moonscape brush scuttles and some other stuff. Elena Marku of Ginger's Garden she's donating stuff. John Romanoff he's donating stuff. Max Schaefer he's donating stuff. Um, other other guys and gals are donating stuff. Um, one gentleman, I forget his name, but he's donating a Blackland Saber. Um, with a custom marble stand, I guess it's carved into a dolphin. To hold the razor. He is donating a straight razor and some other stuff. Aaron said that that donation alone was worth about a grand. And last thing I saw anything, whoever wins will be getting, receiving, um, Solinsky of Solinsky Soaps, he's donating. Um, just all total, if you win, you will be receiving from what Aaron said about 60 pounds of stuff and it could be higher than that um, oh the uh, all you have to do is have an active PayPal and um, send the money or if you just want to donate cash that's fine but Make sure it's friends and family because he's been getting mailed with goods and services with goods and services payments. Um, second pass done. Anyhow, just send five dollars or however much you want to send per spot or donations if you're not interested in all the goodies to. Um, 
Oh, somebody also donated, um, I believe it was made by Holy Black, um, Orange Creeper soap and aftershave set. But anyways, um, $5 per spot or donations to Frugal Shave or go to PayPal and to Frugal Shave at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and I will post down in the description the um, name of his email account um, that you post it to through PayPal. Um, and if you send it via goods and services, he will send it back or he will refund that payment five dollars a spot however many spots you want so um, you know if you're new at this you, if you are the winner you could very quickly and very easily have shaved in that a lot of people would be like wow I mean I think I said Mongoose Gen 1 in the box with which is a stainless steel artist club razor if you're not familiar with it um, with some boxes of uh, feather feather artist club blades so yeah <laughs> so a heck of a raffle and like I said that's gone through till April 30th of 2019 and like I said, right now, it's the day after Thanksgiving 2019. So. Anyway. Um. I'm really. Digging the. I really dig the Atomic Rocket Razor. I mean brush. The silk is wonderful. Um, the razor. Um, it can bite you if you're not careful. And the soap, it's not CK6, but it's pretty good. Um, and it's got a nice scent. No colony, but um, I did not go on the Phoenix site to see what the scent notes are. I just know I like it. So, I might be a bad YouTuber for that. I apologize, guys. Anyways, um, let's see. Uh, a little bit right there. Do these gym style blades razors get me as close as um, by the way I had two and a half days so as a lot of my double edge. Mm -hmm. Not always. Not always. But not bad. Anyhow, so oh, there's a little spot right there. This one's kind of There we go. All right, see you for the post. Hey guys, I just wanted to go ahead and put this in because be, when I was watching the video before I went ahead and did the editing to make sure that everything came in or came out all right, I realized I forgot one thing. Uh, when you go ahead and if you're going to donate to the fundraiser or if you're, you know, to help out Uncle John's family or if you want to enter the raffle, Make sure that in the notes to seller for the seller, 
you go ahead and you let them know that either it's a donation for the Uncle John or John Conley um, fundraiser um, or to help him, however you want to put it, or to let them know however many spots you want. Um, you know, five bucks a spot, so pretty relatively simple math. But, and make sure that's friends and family because if you do goods and services, he will get nailed on his taxes because the IRS will say, yeah, goods and services must be made more money than what you're reporting. So they'll sit there and they'll just kind of nail him on that. Anyways, so uh, that's what I, that's all I wanted to add real quick. Um, I'll see you back for the post. That, guys, was an absolutely huh, awesome, awesome Great shake. Very happy with that. Couldn't be happier. Just could not be happier. Here's a second look at the brush. 26 millimeter atomic rocket. Um, real nice handle. Just feels really great in the hand. Acrylic handle. That suave knot. It works up a lather in, in my timeless bowl quick. And uh, here's the razor, the Starling. The soap, of course, was Red Planet. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of leather in there. And there's still quite a bit of soap at the bottom. And it's kind of smushed down the remainder of my sample. So I'll be rinsing that out and then going ahead. Well, I don't know. Oh, not as much leather as I thought, but... I'll be rinsing that out and letting it dry and putting it back in the shave den and use it the next time. The blade was a Gem PTFE, stainless on its second use, great blade. Um, but yeah, couldn't, couldn't complain. Had my girlfriend feel my face, tell me what she thought. She said, that's one of the smoothest shaves you've had in a while. Um, so, you know, at least in her opinion. I'm pretty sure that some of my other ones went ahead and got me just as smooth, but hey, you know what? Her mileage may vary too when it comes to my shaving, <laughs> so to speak. Anyway, so let's get the post, guys. But yeah, so anyhow, that thing, like I said, I'll go ahead, I'll put down in the description, Aaron's PayPal, uh, Tara's Gmail. And then you can go ahead and just go to PayPal, go to Goods and, I mean, do it through friends and family, five bucks a spot, or donate, whatever. Um, you might win some nice shaving stuff, who knows. Yeah, I said five dollars a spot. Anyways, it's getting warmer, so... I'm done with the shaving balm for the year until it starts getting cold again. Found the shaving balm is just too heavy for my skin during the summer. So, and the aftershave is Skin Bracer by Minute. Absolutely love this stuff. It's got to burn, but. And also cools nicely. Anyways, so thank you all for joining me. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Happy belated Easter. No matter what part of the world, I know they celebrate it up there in you know Canada and you know parts of Europe. I asked Flash, you know, and uh, today. Or I basically told him I don't know if they celebrate Easter, but he told me on the last video, wished me a happy Easter. Told him I didn't know if he celebrated Easter out there in his part of the world. And he said, yeah, they do. So, um, so if you celebrated Easter, hope it was well. Hope you all had a good time. We took a trip out of town. Um, so, anyways, um, yeah, that's all I got. Anyways. Like I said, thank you for joining me. I'll see you all again real soon in the next video. Um, 
and I will see you all again on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye, gal.